Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palantir. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, 17th July, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Since June 6, 2024, our system has ranked Palantir as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.15. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 18.62% since we first listed Palantir as a buy candidate 28 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.67% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the upper part of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader, as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $28.78 will firstly indicate a stronger rate of rising. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 31.24% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 14.62% and 33.86%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 59.76% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 18.95% and 62.55%. This translates to a price range of $33.57 to $45.87 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Palantir stock price down 1.57% on Wednesday. The Palantir stock price fell by negative 1.57% on the last day, Wednesday, 17th of July, 2024, from $28.67 to $28.22. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 4.60% from a day low at $27.60 to a day high of $28.87. The price has risen in five of the last 10 days and is up by 9.25% over the past two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by negative 13 million shares, and in total, 45 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.27 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $29.30 and the lowest price was $13.68. Currently, the price is 3.69% or $1.08 below the 52-week high and 37.29% or $16.78 below the all-time high on the 27th of January, 2021, when the price reached $45. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, July 16, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush gave PLTR a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, July 16, 2024, it was reported that RBC Capital gave PLTR an underperform grade with a hold action. On Monday, July 8, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave PLTR a neutral grade with a hold action. On Friday, June 21, 2024, it was reported that Monis gave PLTR a sell grade with a downgrade action. On Monday, June 17, 2024, it was reported that Argus Research gave PLTR a buy grade with an initialize action. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. The Palantir stock holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, 
there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $28.15 and $24.85. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, July 16, 2024, and so far it has fallen negative 1.57%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day, and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, sell signal two days ago. Bollinger, buy signal eight days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 15 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 31 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 29 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal 32 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 31 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 19 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Palantir. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $25.21 and $23.84. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Palantir finds support just below today's level at $25.21. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume, volume will be at $23.84 and $21.40. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1.27 between high and low, or 4.6%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 4.8%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential, fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This extremely high P-E ratio suggests that the stock could be overvalued. However, it's not uncommon for tech companies or those with huge market potential to have such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2024 is expected on Aug 5, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.08. Cents. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $28.42. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $25.21. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On July 10, 2024, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 36,577 shares of Class A common stock. On July 10, 2024, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 500 shares of Class A common stock. On July 9, 2024, Warshing Eric H. conducted an insider sell of 3,026 shares of Class A common stock. 
On June 30, 2024, Glazer David A. conducted an insider buy of 197,395 shares of Class A common stock. On June 30, 2024, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider buy of 197,395 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative, with a ratio of negative 67.811. Overall, insiders purchased 4,717,571 shares and sold 25,891,096 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $27.09, a decrease of 4.01%. This stock has medium daily movements, resulting in medium risk. The RSI 14 is 78 significantly increasing the risk. Additionally, a sell signal from a pivot top was identified two days ago. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive, and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity, as there is a fair chance for Palantir stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, July 18th, we expect Palantir to open up 10 cents and start trading at $28.23. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.